All right, we back. Marcy Sports Talk. We're going to address the rumors of Blake Griffin uh, wanting out of Detroit. Let's talk about it. We in the building. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. And um, it's being said that uh, Blake Griffin has requested a trade out of Detroit. This came up in the middle of the season as well, saying that he wanted to get out of Detroit. Um, also, you know, as now it's resurfacing as the trade talks. Um, with the Atlanta uh, Hawks, excuse me, are, are going through. Um, there's some other teams that's interested as well. I heard a few other teams, can't remember exactly who they were. It was at least two or three other teams that was interested in Blake Griffin, according to the rumors. Um, if that's the case, I think he does deserve to go to a winner. But going from the Pistons to the Hawks, that ain't exactly moving on up with the Jeffersons. But Trey Young, I believe, will be a rising star in the league. Uh, you know, pretty much, you know, it's just him, you know, if they give away uh, John Collins. So at the end of the day, I don't know where's the, where the upgrade comes with the Atlanta Falcons, with the Atlanta Hawks. I don't know what I want to call them the Falcons. Um, Atlanta is a good city. It's a more prominent city than Detroit. It has its ups, it has its downs, but it's, probably, it's pretty much, uh, you know, it's kind of like the D.C. of the South. It's kind of pretty much like a chocolate city and it's like a lot of professional superstars and a lot of you know, hip hop, uh, you know, entrepreneurs and hip hop entertainers live in Atlanta. So, um, you know, for him, maybe that's like the LA of the South. But um, at the end of the day, can you blame him? I mean, for the most part, the, the Pistons are, are shackled. They're shackled with their cap situation. So, with Blake Griffin, you know, they, I think he's going to be almost a $40 million at some point in his contract. They can't give him the proper help. Um, Maybe he don't like the area. Maybe he don't like the snow. Um, I think he's from Oklahoma, so I'm not sure if it snows in Oklahoma like that. But he probably don't like the weather. He probably don't like that. He ain't in Beverly Hills, and he ain't in Southern LA, Southern California. So you know, at the end of the day, if he won out, he won out. You know, I can't I can't knock him for it. Uh, you know, the Pistons got to do his best for them. I know a lot of people want to get a superstar, all star in return. Blake Griffin stock ain't that high. And remember, when I uh, mentioned it the other day, that when they had Shaquille O'Neal, okay, when they had Shaquille O'Neal uh, with the Lakers, he got traded to the Miami Heat. They didn't, I don't think they got an all-star in return, you know. Um, Anthony Davis trade potentially won't bring an all-star in return, at least not right now. Maybe down, down the line they become an all-star. So, you won't get an all-star in return. So, the best thing you can do is get a potential all-star. You know, um, you know, John Collins, I like that deal. Ken Baysmore, I like that deal. Um, at the end of the day, I don't blame Blake Griffin. Um, Pistons ain't close to winning. Neither are the Hawks, though. Uh, <laughs> I don't think they're close to winning right now, but he wants to win. He wants to be part of the winner. Uh, right now, he's probably on a decline from his prime. He's probably right at the climax, ready to decline. So I can understand it, you know, but, you know, it is what it is. The Pistons don't have to trade him. He got, what, two, three years left on the contract. Um, he's injury prone. The Pistons are, are cap strapped. If he stays, they can't help him. They can trade Reggie Jackson, hope to get some, hope to hit a, a hit on a miracle pick with, uh, in a draft. But really when you, when you, when you, when you need a miracle or when you put it in boxing terms, you need a knockout in, in a, in a 12th round. Usually it don't come when you go looking for it. So for, 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 for Blake, I understand his pain. I understand the struggle. He want to win now, but the teams that I remember, I think the Pelicans might have been there. I can't remember, but the Falcons. I mean, I mean, I keep calling these dudes the Falcons, the, the Hawks. Uh, you ain't gonna win nothing down there, but I guess you'll be in a warmer city. You won't be cold. That's that's a, a huge premium uh, for today's superstar is the, is being in a warm weather city. Um, you got Trey Young. I think Trey Young has probably got better upside than any of the Pistons. I think he'd be the second best Pistons next to Blake if he was so happy on the Pistons right now. So. You know, it is what it is. You know, maybe maybe Atlanta moves him to another destination down the line if that's what they choose to do. But I ain't mad at Blake. I ain't mad at him. Uh, while he here and drumming here, it ain't going to be able to get no good third wheel. So we'll see. It all could be uh, water under the bridge. It all could be a lie. But it's the second time that he's requested a trade, you know, a trade request that came, that came up. So uh, when there's smoke, there's fire. We'll see if they move him. We'll know by the draft. Um so, it is what it is, man. Motor C Sports Talk. It's boy CJ Goodfellow. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss a video. Appreciate the love, support. Um, just keep looking out for us, man. One time for the one time.